if you want to align the window to the left side of the screen or right side of the screen you can use windows left key to align it to the left side and windows right key to align it to the right side if you want to view the thumbnail preview of the running application you can use windows and t so this will show the thumbnail of the applications that are currently running if you want to change the presentation options of your display on the computer or projector you can use windows p which will display the options and you can navigate using the left and right key In order to perform zoom in or zoom out, we normally use the magnifier application that comes along with the windows. We can invoke the magnifier application with the help of hotkey. The option is you have to use windows key along with plus sign to zoom in and minus sign to zoom out. So we have to use windows plus and windows minus to invoke the magnifier application. To invoke the Windows Mobility Center, you can press Windows key plus X. So this will give you the Windows Mobility Center. If you want to invoke any application that has been pinned to the taskbar, there is a super hard key. For example, I have many applications that have been pinned to the taskbar. If I want to invoke the second application, I can use windows key along with number 2. It means that I want to invoke the second pinned application. For example, if I want to invoke the third pinned application, I can use windows key and 3. So this will give my uh, applications that are pinned to the taskbar. If you want to search a computer that is connected in the network, you can use Control Windows F. This will give a dialog box where you can search the computer that is connected in the network. Actually, I get an error message because I am not connected to any of the network. While browsing in the internet or searching any file in the Windows Explorer, if you want to go to the address bar, you can use Ctrl L, which will select the address bar. And there is one more hotkey called Alt D, which is also used to select the address bar. Normally, if you right click on the application that is in the taskbar, you will find a long list of menu, which is not specific to the application that you right clicked. For example, I have a browser. When I right click on that, I need an browser specific options to be displayed in the right click menu. For example, to do that, you have to click shift and right click. So you will find an application specific menu. For example, I can open a new tab. I can open, reopen the closed tab and I can open the task manager of the Chrome browser. If you want to create a new folder in the Windows Explorer, you can use the hotkey Control Shift N. So this will create the new folder for you. If you want to copy the path of a file, you can use the hotkey Shift right click. This will give an option copy as path. This will copy the path of the file, I mean the selected file, to the clipboard. If I want to invoke the task manager, we used to use Control Alt Del, which will take you to the log off screen, and from there we used to click the task manager button. There is a hotkey which can bring the task manager directly. Control Shift Escape, 
that will bring the task manager directly. Normally when you have an application maximized, it will hide the gadgets that we have on the desktop. To bring those gadgets on top of these applications, you can use Control Alt Escape that brings the gadgets that is available in the desktop.